Okay, so now we have question number five from uh, Mechanics 1, June 2018, the GCE version, okay, not the international A-level version. Um, a lift of mass 250 kilograms is being raised by a vertical cable attached to the top of the lift. This cable over here. A woman of mass 60 kilograms stands on the horizontal floor inside the lift, as shown in figure three. The lift ascends vertically with a constant acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. There is a constant downwards resistance of magnitude 100 newtons on the lift. By modeling the woman as a particle, find the magnitude of the normal reaction exerted by the floor of the lift on the woman. Okay, so we have the situation here. Now for part A, we're only considering the woman and the floor of the lift. So I don't need to consider the tension in the cable, nor do I need to consider the mass or the weight of the lift, okay? Nor do I have to consider the magnitude of the resistance on the lift, because all of that is taken into account in the reaction force. So you have the reaction force, let me draw that with an arrow, you have the reaction force of the woman, okay, uh, of the lift on the woman, sorry, the floor of the lift on the woman okay that's the reaction force and then you also have the um, weight of the woman okay so we're only considering oops let me highlight it we're only considering the woman and the floor of the lift i'm not considering anything else okay so We've got the weight of the woman, which is uh, 60 kilograms, so that's going to be 60 G. So that's 60 G Newtons. That's the weight of the woman. We have the reaction, which we have to find. Okay. And we also um, know that it's accelerating upwards. Ascends vertically with a constant acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. As there's constant acceleration, I know that the resultant force is equal to the mass times acceleration. So the resultant force, if we're considering just the woman and the floor of the lift, okay, is R minus 60 G is equal to the mass, which is 60 times acceleration, which is 2. So the reaction is going to be 120 plus 60 G. Okay, so that's going to give us hundred and twenty plus sixty times nine point eight which gives us seven hundred and eight newtons if you wrote seven hundred and ten newtons that would also be acceptable because as we use G as nine point eight which we're asked to do um, then you know we can round it to two, two SF answer so 708 or 710 are both acceptable answers in this question when you use G in your questions in mechanics um, as 9.8 then you can give the answer to 2SF or to 3SF both will be acceptable okay now part two okay so there's a few things I think I need to take for part two is that the there is a constant downward resistance of 100 newtons and the lift is of mass 250 kilograms okay so part b the tension in the cable must not exceed 10,000 newtons for safety reasons and the maximum upwards acceleration of the lift is three meters per second squared okay a typical occupant of the lift is modeled as a particle of mass 75 kilograms um, and the cable is modeled, modeled as a light and extensible string. There is still a constant downwards resistance of magnitude 100 newtons on the lift. Find the maximum number of typical occupants that can be safely carried in the lift while it's ascending with an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. Okay, so we've got, let's take the tension as its maximum possible value, which is 10,000 newtons. So we've got the tension in the, in the cable, which is 10,000 newtons. Okay, we've got the occupants in the lift, okay, whose mass is 75 and there's a number of them. So let's say 75 times X. So let's just imagine there's a number of occupants. So there, that would be 75 um, G times X 
newtons. That's the mass of the people in the lift. Then you've got the mass of the lift, which was 250 kilograms. Okay, so you've got the mass of the lift, which is 250 kilograms. So you've also got this. This is 250 G newtons. And it's, you've also got a, a constant downward resistance of magnitude 100 newtons. And you've got the fact that it's accelerating at 3 meters per second squared. Okay, so now we've got to find the maximum number of occupants. So we've got to find the number of X, okay, that you can safely be carried in the lift. Okay, so we're going to find what that X is going to be and round it according to what's safe. So let's just set up our equation um, F equals MA. F equals MA. So we know that the resultant force is 10,000, that's the force acting upwards, it's going upwards, so I'll take upwards positive. Okay, so I'm taking upwards positive as it's moving up. Uh, minus, and you've got the, the resultant force, so you've got your, let me just put it all together in one, and you've got 100, which is the resistance, plus the weight of the lift and the weight of the people in the lift, which is 250 G plus 75 um, X G. Okay. And that's equal to the mass times acceleration. So the mass is 250 plus 75 X. So be very careful about the mass doesn't include the G. The mass is just 250 kilograms and 75 kilograms times the number of people. So that's a mistake that many people make. Um, the, the mass does not include the G. This is when we put the G here, we're finding the weight, the force. The mass is not a force, remember. So when we, when we, re, when we write the 250 G here, that's the, the force of gravity acting on that mass. Okay? So it's 250 plus 75 times X. Okay? And that's multiplied by the acceleration. So that's the mass. That's the resultant force here. That's the F part, the resultant force. And here we got the mass times the acceleration. Okay, so let's try to simplify this now and, and solve it. So we've got to find what X is. And then, as I said, we've got to round it accordingly. So we've got 10,000 minus 100 minus 250G minus 75 X G is equal to, and you're going to have here, uh, 750 plus, that's going to be 150 plus 75, 225x. Okay. Okay, so... So next, what we're going to do here is we've got to bring all the x's together and on one side and all the non-x's on the other side. So we're going to have 10,000 10,000 minus 100 minus 250g okay and minus 750 okay is equal to and we got 225x plus 75xg okay so you got 750 yeah that size of 225x plus okay so now we've got 10,000 let's just work out what all of this is so you have 10,000 minus 100 whoops minus um, 750 minus 250 times 9.8 6,700 okay and then that 6,700 is equal to 225x plus 75gx. So if we take x as common, we can then say 6,700 divided by uh, 225 plus uh, 75g. 75 times 9.8. And we get our answer as 6.97. Okay. So basically what we've done in now, I've taken out 
the x is common here so i have 225 plus 75 g and then i divided both sides by 225 times 75 g so 6700 over 225 plus 75 g equals x so therefore we know oops we can say x is equal to as our calculator gave us the answer when i divided that was 6.979 6.979 that's the number of people so we can say it safely can hold six people safely can hold six people we can't round it up here okay because if we want to be safe okay so that's the maximum we can hold if we put seven that's going to be too many all right so you don't always round to the nearest whole number you always uh, you have to think about the situation so here, that will be the number of people that can be safely held by the lift. Okay, that's the end of that question.